So this is just a quick video to show you guys what files you'll be getting uh, with the mountain round, um, as well as how to quickly and easily resize them. So you'll be getting a PDF. Um, this is best for scroll saw templates, um, or also if you just want to print it out, um, you can use it as a template. Um, you'll also be getting this file. Um, so this version, it has the mountains all joined together. Um, they will cut separately, but they are together. Um, but then in this one, I separated them. The reason I did this is in case you want to cut it on a smaller laser bed, for instance, I have a Glowforge Plus. Um, so by separating them, you can move them around as you want, and then you could fit them on maybe a smaller laser bed. Um, and then lastly, I just wanted to show you how to quickly resize them. So if you select everything in the file, um, you'll see that your height is going to be the exact size as your round. So right now this is sized for a 12 inch round. Um, let's say you wanted to cut a 20 inch round or you had a 20 inch round and you just wanted to cut the trees and the mountains for a 20 inch round. You want to make sure that your um, lock ratio is locked. So you want it to maintain the proportions. Um, so check that off and then all you have to do is change this to whatever size round you're using and it will automatically resize everything according to that size. Then all you have to do if you already have your round is ignore it or delete it and then just cut this. But that's how you can easily resize to the exact size. I mean you could do a quarter or whatever you need. Um, just keep in mind to make sure that this is on. Hope that helps.